Hello. Welcome to Ecommerce Expert, the absolute commerce, money and invest. Today being day 4 of cybersecurity I will discuss about denial of service attack, what it is as cyber attack and how to prevent your e-commerce website from the attack. If you were someone who was being bombarded with a barrage of requests for information from your site, how would you feel? Do you think it would be reasonable for those you were communicating with to assume that the communication was coming from the company itself? Denial of service attacks are designed to flood a server network with requests so that it is unable to respond to legitimate requests or maintain its normal operations. You know how sometimes you hear about a fire breaking out at a mall, and you think it's not really that bad because there are only a few stores on fire? Well, that's exactly how I felt when I heard about the recent attacks on e-commerce sites. But these were different. The attacks weren't just about making the site crash, but they were actually going to make people unable to log into their accounts. That's right. Like, if you tried to log into your account and the system reported you as being offline, it would be your fault because you weren't actually in the system. Can you even imagine? And we're not talking about some silly little outage that goes away after an hour or two. These attacks were designed to keep sites down for weeks. Weeks. And now that I've told you all this, I think it's important to let you know what we're doing so you can stay protected too. The main thing to know about a DOS attack is that it will only disrupt one particular website. The attacker will not be able to access other websites or alter them, or do anything else harmful. Do you pay for your online shopping with the click of a mouse? Then you probably don't know that there are people who work hard to ruin your day. People who get paid to sit at home and shut down the websites you use every day, shutting down Christmas shopping, shut off bank accounts, shutting down friends' comments on Facebook. They go out of their way to make sure you have a bad time. And it's so easy for them to do. They just buy tons of computers, put a lot of software on them. Then when the websites come up, they just kill the server by making it so many requests that it can't handle the load anymore. How a DOS attack works is that an attacker uses very large numbers of machines to send requests to a website's server in an attempt to overload the server's resources and knock it offline. The vulnerability exists because the website is configured incorrectly, and the server isn't prepared for this kind of demand. There are many things that can be done to protect against such an attack, but the most important is to update your website's software so that it can better handle this kind of traffic. The idea behind a DOS attack is to prevent server resources from being allocated to legitimate requests. If enough requests are blocked from reaching a server, for example, from a large number of users, then there won't be enough resources for legitimate requests either. DOS attacks can be quite serious, because they can crash website servers or network devices, and sometimes even cause them to crash. To prevent this from happening, it's important to understand what a DOS attack is and how it works. But there's something you can do, you can stop them. You can make sure that no matter what they try, they cannot get access to your personal information or manipulate your screen. The only thing they'll be able to do is waste their time and yours by making you download software that won't help you in any way, but at least they'll be working for you instead of against you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video.